Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? This is your boy, The Vintage. Today, I gotta show y'all what I did to the scat, man. I should have been done it. It's something you should do, number one. I don't know if you guys seen the video I dropped when I was talking about uh, the first mod you should do to your car. And it was supposed to be what I'm about to show you guys today, man. So if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Hit the notification bell for your boy. And make sure you hit that like button, especially if you guys are enjoying the car content. We got everything going on over here. We got clothing content. We got fashion, uh, clothing brand, sneakers, car. We got all types of stuff, man. So this is the spot to be. So whatever you like and whatever you're browsing, I should have everything for you over here on the channel, man. And make sure you head over to the clothing brand, Unknown Collections, link down below in the description box. It, it just don't stop, man. It don't stop. Y'all help your boy out. Check out the IG. Yo, man, we need a little series or something. We got we got to call this car series something, something different, something extravagant because like I said, the car content gonna be coming. I'm not playing, bro. Like, I bought the scat for for somewhat of an investment, but of course it was pleasure. You know what I'm saying? But I, we got we gotta call it something. You guys, let me know what we should call the car content episodes. Just let me know something down below, cause it's coming full throttle. Yeah, it was hot as I don't know what outside, but let me go ahead and show you guys the whip. Check it out. Check it out. You guys see it? Purple rain. Purple rain. See that 392. Hold on, let me show y'all the wheels. I want to get the Hellcat replicas on these things, man. Um, I had them on my GT, which is crazy. They didn't put it on a scat pack. You guys see the back? Scat pack, you see? You see it, you see it? And I'm put a picture up here, or a video if I have it, of my old whip. I had a Destroyer Gray a Challenger, and I had the louvers on the back. I had installed my own little front um, splitter in the front. All type of stuff. So I got a lot of ideas for this right here. But today, I got to show you guys what we did. You guys see it. If you seen the first video, you remember you can see straight through the windows, bro. Now, all you see is a reflection of, you know, yourself when you're looking at the whip. You know what I mean? So couldn't have a fishbowl action. We got the 5% tint. Oh, we got that 5% tint. You guys see the difference. And it's super, super bright outside. Uh, but... The tent was a must, bro. The tent was a must. I had to get it. I think I paid around, how much did I pay? I think I paid, what, 230? When I called a dude over the phone, he, I asked him the price, he said 220. And I was like, yo, why you go up in price? He was like, oh, I didn't know you wanted 5% or whatever. So it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I had to get the 5%. I had it 5% for each one of my Mopar vehicles, like I said. Had a 2019 or 2017 Dodge Challenger Destroyer Gray. Put a picture right here. And also had uh, the GT, the all red thing. I didn't have a, I think we called it, called it Terrier. I forget what we called it, but of course you guys seen it in the delivery of me getting my brand new Dream Whip. Uh, we got it, super happy, super excited. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some more stuff that we plan on doing to the car. And also I got this little, um, the little little visor strip or whatever, little strip of tent right there, 5% as well. I know some people that tint the whole thing. Like, I know people that tint the whole front window. I don't think I wanted to do that. So I just kept it, just the little brow part of it, 5% tint. But eventually, if I do want to, I'll probably put like a 20% tint over the front window, make it a little bit darker in there. So I'm gonna show you guys the front real quick. Show y'all the front. So you guys see the little brow, 5% little brow right there. See the front. I really love this hood, man. I'm really, really loving the hood. RT in the front, air filters, you know. You already know how we coming, man. I just washed it today, and I regret washing it because I spent like $70 on washing stuff, like car washing stuff, and then I end up having to rush and uh, get a car wash because I had a photo shoot that we had to do for the brand. So from now on, your boy's washing his own car. Spent way too much money on the stuff for me not to be washing it. But like I said, man, we got the 5% tint. You guys let me know what you think. And like I said, um, I got a lot more mods to do, man. You guys see the back. It's like night and day. See that day, night, night, day, you feel me? Had to get it done. Love the seats. I'm just everywhere, man, because when you when you get something that you really, really want, what you really, really enjoy, you just like in love with it. You know what I mean? You can I can sit in this car all day. I wish it wasn't so hot, but hey, it is what it is. You can't you can't get everything you want. And before I get too far in this video, I want to show you guys some footage I got from uh, this car meetup I did, I think it was called Street Syndicates. Uh, went up there, it had a bunch of dope whips. Of course, it was a bunch of Mopar. I think I seen a couple Mustangs. I think I seen a Camaro. 
and I think I even seen a Jeep out there. So I'm gonna show you guys some footage right now. Yo, what is going on YouTube, man? Today, bro. Today, man, I'm about to link up. Uh, link up at this spot right now. They got like a, a car club going on. I think it's called, uh, I don't even remember the name. I honestly don't even remember the name. I'm plugging in right here. I'm about to pull up on them, see what kind of whips they got. I work with a couple of them, so, you know what I'm saying? All the vibes should be good and all that good stuff. Nothing crazy should be happening, but you guys know what will be happening at car meetups and stuff like that. But uh, I think this one should be pretty well organized. I know, like I said, I know some of the people. I'm going to bring you guys along the way, man. I'm bring you guys with me. So, yeah, we're here. Park next to me, man. <laughs> you had to do me like that, bro. I'm just out here enjoying myself. Nah, I feel you, man. I love this shit. Right I came back to that gap, though. I know. I seen you came back too early, bro. So I'm going to flip the camera around quick, show you guys a couple more mods I plan on doing to the scat, man. Uh, of course, like I said, and early in the video, I had louvers on my destroyer gear challenger. I'm gonna throw some louvers on there and I'm gonna do a whole installation process, show you guys how it look. I wanna put on the worker bill. If you guys can see, I just don't want to remove this, man. I really like the scat pad badge. But I feel like eventually I'm end up taking it off, putting the worker bill on there, and of course throwing the diffusers at the bottom of the scat as well, making it look more beefier, making it look more, you know, more, you know, more Mopar, you feel me? And of course, coming around the front. I want to put the, the low, the front splitters or whatever on the front, you know, look hard on the whip. And I also want to throw some LED lights under the scat, bro. I think that, I think that, I think that'd be some pressure, bro. I think that'd be some pressure. But for right now, that's pretty much it. I think when I see more videos and more pictures of scats, I'm end up doing more stuff. Uh, but for right now, louvers, rear diffuser, front splitter, and uh, wicker bill. I just want to remove my scat pack badge. I think that's going real hard. Yeah, man, like I said, today, we got the 5% 10 on them things, super crazy. I couldn't roll the windows down for like five days, so now we can. And before we end the video off, I gotta hit you guys, starting it up, seeing how it's running. I think it sounded really, really good. So let's go and pop the camera down and seeing how it sound now that we got the pipes cut. I'm thinking about going back and putting the, the, the dual tips on the, on the back. It just, you know, you gotta do things in increments. You can't do everything at once because you're gonna spend all your money, man. But let's go and flip it around, show you guys what it sound like today. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Some quick, some simple. Show you guys the first couple mods that we did on Scat. A lot more to come. If you guys enjoyed, man, please leave a huge like. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. More content coming. More car content coming. Uh, so stay tuned by hitting the notification bell for your boy. Appreciate y'all tapping in. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.